And then I'm going to share my screen. All right. So, uh, do, 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 you guys should have got grades yesterday, did you not? Did I grade you guys yesterday? Yeah, you did. Okay, just checking. I try I to keep. So. I try to keep up, but sometimes I. I got so many Java classes right now. I forget which ones I graded, which ones I didn't. So I'm going to start a new. Uh, uh, oh, not that one, Doug. Uh, start a new project. And I'm just going to have this one. I'm going to call it. Uh, uh, what do I want to call it? Um, oh, just sample. I'm just going to call it sample for now. All right. Not going to take your time up by filling all this in even. Okay. So we'll do that and clean this up just a hair here just so i don't feel like it's messy do, 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 do. all right dent that a little bit more because i like it that way and then let's go ahead and do get a scanner Oops. You ever press that button? These are all different types of libraries that you can get. Okay. And so there's a bunch of stuff like now if I select utility, of course, now I get a list of all the different stuff I can get out of utility. And some of the stuff, of course, that you saw so far is We've have we've used the scanner and we've used the random out of there, but look at all the other ones that are available. So when you get into this later on, um, as you move through your career here, just uh, before you start inventing a new, you know, the wheel, check in there. Maybe somebody's already created it. Okay, so you always want to check that. You know, there is an old story that you know that the scientist or whatever he was or a new programmer he comes in one morning and says boss boss look what i created here it'll do this or it'll do that and the boss clicked on the screen and pressed a, a button and <laughs> there was already a, a, an application that would do what the guy spent his whole night doing or whatever so just you know just be aware that there's more than the stuff we've been using also Let's say I wanted to access everything in there. I can put an asterisk there. And that means I want to use, be able to use or instantiate everything that's in that uh, library. So now I could just go down here and do random. I could do scanner without having to have. I don't want you guys to do that. I'm just showing it to you. For this class, you should, I want you to make sure you know where that stuff is at okay doesn't using the whole library also increase the file size or something ah or? okay no it doesn't that's a good question though oh all right. okay because that's just giving you access to it okay but until you instantiate it in other words until you create the object from it it doesn't take up any more room ah okay you understand what I'm saying there? Yeah. It's just like you got it. Uh, so you have access to a bunch of blueprints, but you still haven't built anything and it don't take up any more room until you start building it. Does it make the program run slower? No. Then because, what's the reason for not doing because, that every time? Uh, in your case, because you're just learning it and I want you to do it that way. I want you to know which ones you're picking. Okay. Go ahead, whoever was talking. Is there a reason in general not to do it? No. What's up, Doug said not to. Got it. 
I guess then why is it even an option not to do it? Like, why do they even bother making it necessary um, to write that every time? Okay. It might be a little bit smaller, but it's nothing to write home about. Okay. And some people like everything to be precise. In my case, I just want to know that, you know, that you're picking it out of the utility and, uh, that's basically it in my side and that there's more stuff out there than the utilities. There's an, all kinds of other libraries. There's a math library that I can go get math stuff out of. In other words, if I type in java.math dot, you'll see a bunch of math stuff. Even though there is a math, the math library is already built in to this, um, this IDE anyway, to our program already. In other words, we don't have to say import java.math to do like uh, powers or exponents or random or whatever, okay? So that's the plan. All right, so I'm gonna instantiate a scanner. So scanner uh, user con equal to a new scanner. In any case, I have to do this, right? I have to let it know where we're going to get it for. And that creates this user con that has all the functions that I can do, like next double, next, has next, um, all kinds of stuff. So I have to create a scanner then once I do, I have the capability of getting information through the keyboard or whatever. All right, system dot out dot print. Uh, enter a um, what do I want to make it? <laughs> oh, I guess I can do this. Um, and again, is SSN going to be a good prompt? Yes, because everybody should know what SSS mean, SSN means. So if I can use it as a prompt, I probably can use it for... Uh, a variable name. See all these, all these methods? There's tons of them, okay. Oh, I typed in next now, so it's not gonna show you all of them, but. All right, so that means um, I can use next here if it's a string, okay? So I wanna take a string in. The question is, why is it a string and not a number? Because you de declared it a string type? Yeah, but why did I pick that over like double or integer? You're not doing math with it. Ah, thank you. I'm not doing math with it. I've never done math with my social security number. Although, you know, in Illinois, well, you still wouldn't do math with it. Do you know, like, on an Illinois driver's license, if you take the second group of numbers in your, social, in your driver's license number, the last number from there, and the first number for the third set of numbers, that's the year you were born. So when I used to be a bouncer in Chicago, people would have fake IDs and they would forget to change the number. So we never looked at that, uh, or most of the time at first anyway, we wouldn't check the birth date on the driver's license. We checked the um, driver's license number for the year. And uh, so we catch people that way because they weren't smart enough to change that number. 
So just a word of, if you never looked at your driver's license, you can look and see, um, like I said, the second group of numbers and the third group, if you take the last of the second, first of the third, it should be your year of birth. So here we're gonna take that in, okay? And then I think um, what I might do here, there's a couple ways to do this, okay? And I'm not gonna give you the whole program. I'm just gonna get you on the right path. So I could have something here. I could say Boolean is equal to, uh, Let's see, how am I going to do that? Let's leave that out for right now. We might have to come back to it though. So I say if character dot, oh, look, is digit. And then which character? Well, the one in SSN dot char at zero. Okay. And then, so if that's true, then what do I want to do? Oh, let's just print it out, I guess. Uh, print. Okay. That should work. And then we'll put over here, we'll say else. Uh, System dot out print line invalid number. Okay. So now once, if the first one is valid, okay. So let's just test and see what happens. One, two, three, dash, two, dash, one, two, three, four. And you can see it printed it out over here, the number one, because it is valid. But before we even get to that, maybe we should have this if SSN dot length is less than, I think it's 11, right? Uh, no, I want to do that. It's going to say this. That'll be better. And then this moves into here. Because once I know it's 11, all right. So this has to be inside of that, though. So I'm going to tab that over to, so that'll move over to, and that'll move over to, that'll move over to, then, let me hit enter here. And I'm going to put in Change this to number is not 11 characters. So 
So if it's more than 11, less than 11, it should print out. Let's see if I can make it error out. So one, two, three, number is not 11 characters. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That should be 12, not 11 characters. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And it prints out the one. So that's good. So then if it does that, okay. So this has to be here. So then the next one So if it doesn't do that, we need another else. Then I have to go inside this one, say if character dot is digit, SS, SSN dot char at one. And then that'll be else. Now there's other ways to do this. I could have a Boolean that just checks to see if it's valid or not. And then down at the bottom, I could print something out if it's valid. Okay. Or if it's not valid, but this builds, uh, this would be the way to build a thing that will specifically tell you where the error is. Okay, so let's go here and put, uh, so I'm gonna type in something that should be invalid here. So if I go, which character was it? Where, how far was I? Hang on, there's one. Okay, so the second character. So if I put one A, two, and then uh, it prints the first character, but it says that the second character is not a digit. So we can put a slash n here, slash n here. So that now, if I do it, We get one A two dash two two dash two 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 two. The second character is not a digit. Okay. So that's what we can um, do. Okay. But there's other ways to do it too. Like I said, you can use. Uh, the next one would be another one of these. So let's see how far I'm in, in Amalia. One, two. And then here, what have you have? again, you could do another if char character dot is digit. SSN dot char at. And then uh, 
this one will be two. And then the same thing, we do our system dot out line or print. This is in dot char char at three, right? No, two. Okay. And then down here, we got another else. Slash n. Okay. Now the next one is kind of is different, right? Because this one we're checking for a dash. So all you're going to have here is if SSN dot char at. This will be three is equal to. Now, again, it's a character, it's not a string. So only single quotes go around it. So then. Uh, And then again, we'd have our else. So you can see so far I printed one, two, three dash. If I type in one, two, three, three, it says the fourth character is not a dash. Yeah, put a slash in there. All right, I think that's a big enough giveaway. But it's only one way to solve the problem, okay? Again, I could put in here, I said, I could do if not SSN length or whatever, or if not by putting a exclamation point here. Oh, come on. In other words, I could switch this to be if not, I could have a message, okay, I could say this is invalid, okay, and exit out that way, and then make the else where it would go on to the next one. So there's other ways to do this. This is kind of a long way, but it's easy to follow, and it's very precise. It's going to tell you which of the characters is not valid. So I kind of prefer it. All right. So that's a heck of a, a, a hint for you guys. I'm not going to no, stop it. Close this thing, discard it. 